Hey everybody, this is Nathan with Pro Acoustics back again for another Tech Talk. Uh, here to talk to you guys today about how to hook up a powered subwoofer to your pro or commercial audio system. Uh, how you can do it, what you need, and uh, take a little bit of the mystery out of that for you. All right, so before we start talking about how to hook up a powered subwoofer, let's talk a little bit about uh, the two main types of speaker categories. Uh, basically, active or powered, and then passive or unpowered. Uh, basically, I think we go over this in another video that I definitely would recommend you check out, but the idea is that an active or powered speaker has an amplifier built into it, also has to plug into the wall, whereas a passive speaker plugs into an amplifier. Um, the amplifier is not actually built into an active speaker, or it is built into an active speaker and there's no amplifier built into a passive speaker. So uh, with an amplifier, uh, you basically need to take your output from a mixer into the amplifier, run that out to your passive speaker. Um, we do lots of systems with passive speakers, but sometimes we find that we need to want to add more speakers down the road, uh, particularly a subwoofer. It's just adding extra bass. Uh, this typically means a subwoofer is doing anywhere from approximately 20 hertz up to 100, 150, 160 hertz, uh, which are the lower frequencies. Uh, main speakers reproduce a whole lot of frequencies everywhere from you know around 100 hertz or a little bit lower sometimes up to 20,000 hertz. And that's where your dialogue comes from, um, the more musical aspects of your music, you know the lyrics, all the other instruments. But sometimes we want just a little bit more boom boom down in the bottom, and that's where subwoofer comes in. Um, subwoofers can be passive or active. Uh, so basically the difference between a passive or active uh, subwoofer is that they are either powered or unpowered. There is an amplifier in the back of it or there isn't. Um, what can be nice about having an amplifier built into the subwoofer with an active subwoofer is that it also has its own crossover. Without saying too much, crossover basically means the point where the high frequencies and the, uh, the, the higher and lower and mid frequencies are handled by the main speaker, uh, where the lower frequencies are just handled by the subwoofer. So uh, a passive speaker isn't necessarily going to have a crossover built in, but an active speaker is. The amplifier built in in the subwoofer is always going to have it set at the factory of where you want the subwoofer to start taking over the bass frequencies. So how to hook it up. Uh, let's say, for instance, in this case, that I have a fitness sound system here, uh, or a gymnasium sound system, or a church, or something like that. And uh, for our purposes here, we do not have the speakers present. But let's say that uh, I'm going to take the audio output uh, from my mixer. It's coming out quarter inch with the CBI cable that I have here. Quarter inch output from my mixer, and it's going to plug in with XLR into this Crown XLS 1502 into channel one. From there, I have my uh, passive main speakers. You know, my, uh, could be JBL, could be Yamaha, uh, my main speakers that are passive with no amplifier built in. I'm gonna use a CBI speak on cable to come speak on out of channel one, out of the Crown XLS. And this is going, to, the other side of this cable is gonna connect to my passive speaker. So now we're running the amplifier to power the main passive speaker. But, Let's say I don't have any more outputs on my mixer and I want this same signal to be run into a subwoofer uh, that I decide I want to add a subwoofer months down the road. I'm going to take another CBI BLC cable, which basically has quarter inch TRS on one side, XLR on the other, and I'm going to come out of the link output. This is a parallel output that basically just parallels the signal from the amplifier uh, so that we can run that out to another speaker like a subwoofer. I'm going to run this over and plug this into the powered subwoofer. So now channel one on this uh, amplifier on the input side is now sending, sending wattage over to my passive speakers here and now sending audio signal this direction over to my subwoofer. I can control the volumes on the front of the amplifier to determine how much wattage I'm sending over to my passive speakers. Now on the back of the subwoofer I can adjust how much, uh, you know, what level of volume I have on the subwoofer's internal amplifier. Um, we can do this same thing to feed perhaps multiple amplifiers. That's one way that we can feed lots of amplifiers in a single uh, amplifier rack uh, if we need to feed a recorder or anything like that. This makes for an easy way to add more speakers or in our case here to add our new powered subwoofer to our system. 
Once again, I'm Nathan. Drop us a like, uh, shoot us a message down below. Let us know who you're watching, if we can help with anything else.